No, like, like if they give you a sandwich, you can point like this isn't as long as an ob. Do you not know what an ob is? It needs to be at <laughs> least that long. This is not oblong. <laughs> then you don't want to make a somebody has a sandwich up have to do the mental calculation of like this is worth losing my job to slap this. <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly Show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how to's, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Old Man Vin here at LGC Actual, switching the bits, doing the nightmare fuel, bringing it to you with Linux sauce, joined every week by the man whose dying wish will be to clut declutch a camel. How does that even work, man? Or did you want to get clutched by a camel? I want to get clutched by a camel. Okay, camel clutching it is. Baby, I yeah. compare you to a clutch by a camel on the Damn desert. camel clutches. <laughs> that is Jordan's fong. And there's Pedro. Together with you, Hi. live, Shad Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Man, we got a, can we say chonky? Twitch, can we yeah. say chonky? A chonky week. It, it 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 is a it is a big chungus of a podcast. A chungus of a podcast. It is in the current vernacular, yes. So yes. Yeah. <laughs> in the common tongue. <laughs> in in the tongue of the peasants, they call this a large chungus. Dude, that's one of the things I've been up to. I got I got like all of the Lord of the Rings, and I'm going to blame you because you started listening to uh, not listening but reading um, Game of Thrones. Game yeah. of Thrones, and somehow my brain's like, you know what? Just listen to Lord of the Rings. I'm like, fine, I'll do that, but. A couple of things I've been up to this week. I did manage to get that Motu interface for a video I'm going to be doing later on with some audio stuff. I, you ever just buy something and you didn't? Well, you don't spend much time on eBay. Pedro, you can tune into this where you ended up paying the fair price, but you're not happy about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got a good price for it, but I didn't get the price I wanted. It's still a good price, but the price that I suggested at first was much better mm. i should have gotten it <laughs> that happened but um also fair warning fire warning i have a bunch of pulse sync set like with real-time permission running at like 90 to counteract high black magic in your shit fucking video card uh that i'm still waiting for the updated drivers for threadripper even though it's been out for a year and you just discovered I'm not better not at all um also if you're curious, if you get a Raspberry Pi and you want to turn it into a hi-fi system or maybe a home theater PC and you don't want to run a bunch of wires and you just want to run like optical, a SPDIF out to your TV, you're thinking, hey man, cheap way to do it, get a USB to SPDIF. Well, the first one they sent me was kind of knackered. The second one wasn't assembled correctly, but there's a video if you want to learn about the Duke Audio U2. This, you can also plug it into Android, allegedly. I didn't go that far because I feared it might try to bite me. That's what I've been up to. How about you, Jordan? Oh man, the the gyms finally opened in Ontario, so I I got to go back on Friday. I'm so weak. Five months of not doing any sort of like heavy compound lifts and sitting in a house smoking pot has <laughs> severely degraded my physical <laughs> performance. So it's 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 real frustrating. I got I got I got a program I'm following to help uh to help rebuild some muscle, but like it's super frustrating now. It's like man, I could do this. I have footage of me putting this over my head. Why can't I do it now? It is so quick to lose and such a pain in the ass to build. It is. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that's something. It's not necessarily, oh, you're addicted to working out. You're like, no, this thing, it goes. Yeah. You, 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 you got to keep working on it. It's a process. This is true. How are things in Britannia? Are you keeping the islands safe? Um, But as safe as it can get. Uh, it's warm here. It's very, very, very warm here. <laughs> Uh, yesterday, the clock, uh, the uh, temperature actually clocked that around 35 C in some bits of the country. I think uh, the highest recorded in Cambridge was like 34, but yeah, it was warm. Also, I got the uh, replacement Logitech G903. Okay. Also, very, very much secondhand in case the, the one that I'm currently using uh, conks out. You really or like that then? I do, yeah. because I can rebind everything. It's got like 11 buttons. It's awesome. It just only has 11 <laughs> buttons. That's awesome. Man, man, man when, 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 you, when you say like Pedro defending England, my brain just is starting to spitball a Doctor Who episode where like well, Pedro leave his, leaves his desk, the entire of the UK will explode. And so the doctor's just trying to like stop Pedro from getting up and go the to the true, bathroom. True. We can't <laughs> consider him a true 
member of Britannia until you think about buying a little portable AC unit until it gets cool again and you don't do it for all of the wintertime when they're on sale <laughs> until next year and it gets hot again and you still don't have one. I'm using a uh, Haplos fan. <laughs> <laughs> that fan's just keeping me going. <laughs> do we need to put a fan on the horse, baby? I mean, it's plenty hot. It's steaming or some sort of foul vapor is rising from it. It's the steam analytics of the day. Boom. Yeek. Hey, there's yes. a little bit of a beta client <laughs> update. Uh, they've re oh man. You know, I used to always say the steam client beta, so sensitive, but they've reduced the sensitivity of chat filtering in supported games. What? Okay. I guess that's a thing question mark. Uh, um, maybe. Yes. Chat it's one of the tools that Valve allows developers to do. They can add a chat filter. Okay. I, I mean, it makes sense. Like, if you have a game that you're marketing to children, you don't want to expose most of them to. The According internet. to the first comment, it's censorship. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom. Okay. General reduce sensitivity of chat, fix some stuff on Mac. Uh, nothing vertical alignment. It's Mac stuff. But in the library, games with manuals, I like this, will now include a link. To the manual and additional content section on their game page details might not sound like a lot but that saves you a click it's, well, it saves you a googling doesn't it all right i i mean like i, I feel this impacts <laughs> a lot of the older games these days because like manuals kind of went the way of the dodo after you know games on physical media stopped being a thing because you know you know, every everyone has that sort of visceral memory from their childhood where they went to like gamestop or whatever they bought a game and they're still like the ride home so you read the manual to get yourself psyched up now, mm -hmm. now you just click install and you wait. Mm. <laughs> and you don't even have to wait that long most of the time. No, no. I mean, the, the man, you stuck to the manual while you were installing your game for an hour on like your thousand RPM IDE drive. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> it's going to be great. I swear to God, it's going to be so good once it finishes fucking installing. Oh. oh, I'm out of space. Time to go delete two Simpsons AMVs or whatever so I can... <laughs> Oh the, man! You just explained why I look at like the retro game. I'm not judging. Do what you want to do. More power to you. But retro gaming, I look at people who do that with confusion and abject horror. Like why? <laughs> we, we I thought we got past this, guys. Right? There's an emulator for it's, that. I'm just it's saying. all the rose tinting. But yeah. you, not, shut up, Pedro. Mm, feel the keyboard. <laughs> <Ooh>. um, <laughs> hi. New hires. <laughs> yeah, uh, so this is from Tony Wasurka, uh, Fail Clues, uh, on, on Twitter. Uh, they, they have a background in uh, Wii and 3DS emulation, and they got hired by Valve to work on uh, Rad V, on uh, the Vulcan Driver, to uh, nice. improve video performance on Linux. And, you know, I think, considering, like, a lot of the, like, the, not, not necessarily the DS, but the Wii, for sure, uses uh, AMD GCN architecture for its GPU. So, you know, having a background in that is probably super fucking useful to making video drivers. Just right. saying. Um, I, I seriously wish him the best, though. I, I, I genuinely hope he releases some cool stuff. Oh, it makes me so happy. When I, I see this, I immediately, not that, Maybe just like the littlest grain of a sneaking suspicion in the back of my brain made some like one day you're going to wake up and Valve's like, hey, yeah, we're tapping out. Um, we're done with the Linux thing. It's fun. Good run. Made some good friends. But be saw fuckos. But when I see stuff like that, little grain just like gets very diminished. I'm like, you were actively hiring somebody to help. And you know this code will come back and just make everything better. So I'm saying good on you, Valve. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Red V is one of those very, very um, new projects that actually has a lot of... Uh, well, there's a big need for that because there's a bunch ah. of AMD GPUs out there that can do Vulkan that you'd be stuck with the proprietary drivers. Hi, NVIDIA user here. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, but... <laughs> I want to say, say Red V is still older than Dixvix, though. Yeah. Not by much, certainly a couple of months, but um, yeah. <laughs> I just realized if I took off my flip flop, the air would blow directly in the bottom of my foot. My genius uh, knows no that, bounds. That, that, that's nice. Too. You, get the, you get the leg goosebumps. You're like, ah. Oh, just thought yeah. I'd share that with the class. A uh, new version of Proton brings something that we talked about last week or maybe the week before. What's that? We're talking about Norman Reedus and his creepy fetus. Uh, there's a gang of updates, big updates, small updates, but the big one here is Death Stranding is now running with Mesa, Radvi, ACO, apparently, allegedly. 
I don't know, man. That's what it says. It doesn't look. There's a picture of Death Stranding and the delivery boy himself. So there's Norman Reedus. Do we get do we get any shots of the creepy fetus? No. Wait. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> no. Well, those Not are one. other games. <laughs> damn it. Damn it, Glorious Egg Roll. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta deliver on your fetus promises, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad that it works. That's good. I don't really have any desire to play the game, but okay. Mm -hmm. Progress? It, yeah, the Proton G is great because it actually targets more recent uh, wine builds. So, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm, I'm still waiting for like. I, I'm. I'm not going to pay full price for Death Stranding. I'll. I'll, I'll get it for fifty percent off. But not. <laughs> no, I don't even think I'd do that. Uh, the, the calculation, the numbers that have to shake out for that is like, oh, it's in a bundle on the five dollar mm -hmm. tier. All right, <laughs> I'll try it. Out. I mean, I, I'm. I'm. I'm self admittedly a Kojima fanboy, so I'm willing to pay the gold well, price yes, for okay. that. Uh, speaking of paying the price for things, though, man. Oh, yes. boy. So, uh, the Steam database on Twitter have, uh, recently put out a tweet saying, Valve has recently made a change, uh, or recently <clears throat> made changing your, uh, store country more strict, which requires completing a purchase using a payment method from that country. This should hinder the ability of using VPNs to buy games cheaper. It's like, yeah, that, that was rather kind of where Valve was going with the whole, we're going to stop people from buying games in other countries because they're cheaper. They, they've they been doing that for a while now. <laughs> so I guess this is basically their way of working around VPNs. Kind, kind of. This, if, if you think about it, it, re it really is. Uh, Dear Australia, go fuck yourself. Love game from... Uh, <laughs> From these guys, he's I, in I, New I mean, Zealand though, so that might change. <laughs> yeah. Um. The 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 uh the other thing too is like this will this may stop people from like w buying Steam games when they go to another country. If I pick up my laptop and I like haul ass to Belgium or whatever, I'm not gonna be able to buy games there. Well, region locked games are absolutely have been a thing for quite some time. This yeah. is just mm -hmm. preventing you from maybe going next door to get a game. Yes. Yeah. Like a lot of people do, German people, uh, they change their country to Austria. It's like, oh, all of a sudden it's much cheaper. <laughs> yeah, those Germans really love annexing Austria, don't they? <laughs> it definitely... It's do, happened before, yes. Uh, do we, I know everyone wants you immediately just want to throw steam under the bus, but uh, high developers, regional pricing. Yeah. Yeah. If you actually set the pricing for all the regions, people don't feel compelled to... Go hunting for the cheapest one. Except for hey, Australia, hey. because I can see everyone's like, oh, no, they're used to being fucked over. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I mean, again, this is the country where you need to go fly to another country in order to get software cheaper, mm -hmm. factoring in the cost of the plane tickets. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Man. All right. We got some game updates, though. We do. And the first one is Northgard. They're doing a bit of a balancing patch. Uh, not, it's not definitely not as interesting as a balancing act, but there is some balance involved at least. I love and, reading um, things with like non-ironically like strike through. I'm like, oh, okay. That's gone. Yeah. <laughs> they, they just straight up removed the, uh, converts all civilians in the area into militia. They can't go outside your territory. It's like, nope, not doing I, that anymore. I, I, I mean, we do, I, I just, just want to point out, we do that in our show notes all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh. Turns out that's wrong. We're still leaving it in there. I just get struck out. Well, yep. there's also the very good chance in our show notes that we'll do it for comedic effect. Go. True. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. But yeah, Northgard is basically a Viking 4X type of game, and I it's, I still have no interest in it. Uh, there are no Linux-specific changes with this one. It is purely a um, game mechanic uh, balancing patch uh all they're doing is basically giving you several different quality of life features if north guard is the kind of game that you're into yeah if you, if you played the, if you played the hell out of uh civ or its other um yeah there, there's like the, there's like the high fantasy one that i'm completely spacing on the name for mm -hmm. um but yeah do we have copies it, of this I don't believe so. maybe maybe it's in a bundle. I've seen a lot of emails Could about yeah. <laughs> Northgard from Humble, so it, no, it, it, defense, might, it might be one of those have, things. We have a lot of Viking games on Linux, 
So there's a lot <laughs> yes. of Viking games. <laughs> no, per- period. Just in general. Also, yes. That. Also, yes. Yeah. Good to see its continued update. But man, uh, this game Miss- we're almost completely out of games that are going to be in early access development hell. And mm. uh, breaking news, kids. Hellpoint. It's currently out uh, since July 30th. The reviews, uh, especially when compared to the little demo that they released a while back, uh, The Thespian Feast, that one was received with very, very uh, mixed reviews. This one is actually mostly positive, currently sitting at around 70%, which is good. It's very good. Um, And it's, uh, yeah, it's sci-fi Dark Souls in space. Is that the Mancubus from Doom? Is Carmack going to sue somebody? Similar ish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and it, it runs Unity and it runs Vulcan. I actually uh, started it with Mango HUD and it's like, oh, it's Vulcan. How nice. And it runs very well. It doesn't hold like 144 FERPs at 2560 by 1440 with everything cranked, but it holds around 90, which is very, very nice. And um, so you're telling me you, a- you need to have four threads. Or four cores. Well, <laughs> yes. min, min, minimum, you need four threads. Really, you need four cores. Going I for mean, that thirty-one hundred X might be a good idea. <laughs> it's it's space Dark Souls, right? Like if if you want more Dark Souls, like it seems like this is this is the game for you. It is if, like it was. I mean, I knew what to expect. I mean, I did get. Thank you, Aldius. Um, four Wolf what was the name of the game. Code vein. Hellpoint. Oh, Code vein. That that's uh, also thank you, Arthurin, for giving me help. <laughs> there you go. Get some love <laughs> from Voltron. Um dude. Code vein is about as souls like as I can get. And even then, it, it's tough for me to get like multiplayer. I could probably play some more. But I watched a stream of this and like that is genuinely just dark soul because I've watched a lot of dark souls being played for some reason. Um I don't know why. Just this is like that, that space dark souls like even down to like oh look it's tech not it's a space bonfire and you know stuff like that all the rolling mechanics the jumping and it's like it's people swinging very slowly at each other while running in circles yes yeah ah. some, some, some people eat that shit up man hey i'm not judging i'm just yeah. saying that's what it is i'm not, i'm glad it's that obvious because i'm like oh, pedro will love it <laughs> Uh, I do actually. Uh, I've already sunk like three or four hours into it today. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's I, don't, I don't know. For me, it's like the same thing with um, that hyperlight drifter thing. Like you can rip off a game. Like if you're if you're gonna like if if your goal is to like I'm just gonna take thing X because I like thing X and I'm gonna make more of it. Mm-hmm. You can totally wear that on your sleeve, and that's like a perfectly acceptable design choice. Uh, nothing. Not everything has to be original. Oh, it doesn't have yeah. to be original. Um, I think to the point of which I know you've mentioned other games in the past yourself, Jordan. I'm like, this yep. is basically this game with yep. the numbers filed off, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, yep. I just don't see again, if you're just addicted to that mechanic, more of it. Good. Yeah. And I'm, exactly. What give, I'm glad give, is give, give people what they want. we got a day one Linux release, but Allegedly, before the show, we were definitely talking about uh, small, tiny, little game-breaking bugs. This was released with like things like all of your inventory just disappearing, and fuck you, you don't get it back. Apparently, that was fixed, Pedro. Yeah, the, there is uh, the like newest pinned thread uh, in their Steam forums is very much saying, it's like, we're aware of the issue, it's been fixed now. So, okay. Uh, but yeah, apparently... There is a specific area of the game where if you die, certain items will be removed from your inventory and they will only be returned after you beat that area. For that specific area, that is intentional. It wasn't supposed to happen anywhere else, but <laughs> apparently that kind of uh, slipped. <laughs> the, the flag doesn't get unset after you leave the area. Yep. Mm. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Mr. Poff. Mr. Poff is a beast. Uh, wait, wait, yes, not. it is. Continue as I obviously yeah. didn't forget to put something in the show notes. As Indeed. You were uh, yeah, so it's, it's, another, it's, another, it's another one of these like uh, isometric Sokoban games. We talked about uh, another one a couple weeks ago. Again, the name escapes me because too much drugs. Um, but this one this one has some like 3D platforming elephant or el- elephants, elephants as well. <laughs> Damn it. You got my hopes up. <laughs> 
Look, I mean, look, look at Mr. Poff in that little in that little thumbnail, man. He's he's beefy, man. Hot damn. He's a monster. Does he have like one of the? He's uh, that's not a baseball hat. That's like what do you call like the hat with a flat top? Like a I, I know. Hat? I, yeah, something like that. I, I I know I know exactly what you're talking about. My grandfather used to wear these hats all the time. No idea what the fuck they're called. Um, but yeah, um, it, it, it's another one of these sliding block Sokoban puzzle games. Um, it again, I really like the art style here. It looks really cool. Um, apparent if you scroll down to the system requirements, it will run on your favorite Linux distribution. Then, what's your favorite Linux distribution? Arch. Pedro. Fedantu. What's yours, Jordan? Windows. <laughs> Microsoft Windows. <laughs> no, oh, it legitimately okay. just says your favorite Linux distribution. <laughs> it, it, it legit says your favorite Linux. That's why I bring it up. <laughs> Admittedly, I thought it was going to be like Solus or something like that. No. <laughs> All right. I do yeah. like Solus, but yeah. <laughs> so the moral of that story is if you're going to be playing Monster Above, don't play it on a Linux distribution for which you hold disdain for. Yeah, you, 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 you gotta really love it in your heart. Exactly. Now, we can talk about bad flying machines. Really bad flying machine. Now, you might scroll down to that uh, $30 price tag, and you might say, You mean the well, 1749 one? Well, the it's twenty four ninety nine when it's not twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, thirty thirty dollars Canadian, and you might say, "Well, what the fuck? Um, it looks kind of junk." And my my brain went, "Yeah, I hate this game immediately." But then, what about Steven Sausage Roll? That game looks like junk, and that game kicked my ass. Um, so Baba I don't, I don't is know. You. Yeah, ex exactly. Uh, so yep. that's that's the thing with, with with puzzle games. You can have. You can have a really strong core mechanic and you don't really need to pay attention to the visual presentation. Exposing this, subject? Oh, you've, you're winning my heart game. Be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with this, this one is uh, you can move in directions and you have to destroy boxes. But to destroy a box in the direction, you sacrifice your ability to move in that direction. So it's all about <laughs> finding the correct order to destroy all the boxes in. Um, yeah. Again, it like it it could it could be they could be super good puzzles. It could be like a real rip roaring party uh, pu puzzle game. But that that gold price, man, that's that's, that's rough. I half yeah, expected the, when like, I clicked on the publisher, I was like, it was gonna say, creator Stephen Sausage. Right? I, I, I I double checked that too. Just like it's not woo. Stephen Lavelle, no. <laughs> but yeah, no, the, like the top down view is not doing it for me. The, mm. I, yeah, <laughs> it's it's like I get what the game is doing. It, it, if anything, it's one of those things that once you start playing it, then it clicks, and you're like, okay, like now, Could now I, it yeah, makes maybe. sense. But yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. It's, it, 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 that's that's the tricky thing with puzzle games like if they look like junk they could still be really good no that yes <laughs> uh and good to the point where you realize that the game is just better than you are and you leave it alone yeah oh. <laughs> like okay fair hi you, bob you, is you third world <laughs> i gave up <laughs> but we're not gonna give up the show must continue the show must go on. Coming up next, we talk about raw furries and we look, we get our first look at the VCS. Oh my God. There are many things you can do to get our attention, but probably the best way is to uh, tackle us as talk we're walking down the street. Talk some shit to Pedro on YouTube. <laughs> go, 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 go to that Subway and order, order well. a sandwich with no hoss. <laughs> That's the this oblong no has. Nine. I want yeah, two no has. has. You want you want okay. you want two has. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can we have riders of Rojas? Yes. <laughs> but 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 your your, your, th your thighs are gonna get are coming. Have you ever you're, seen you're, a subway you're, sandwich you're ride a pony? It's mesmerizing. Man, if you if if you want to fund that animated series, you should check out our Patreon. Head on over to LinuxGameCast.com, put your mouse over the support tab. We got many ways for you to support this new animated series that we're making. Uh PayPal, we got totally. Bitcoin. Uh, best way to support us, head on over to patreon.com slash LinuxGameCast. It gets you a bunch of cool stuff if you sign up as a Patreon like access to our Discord channel, access to the pre pre super shows and where we can talk about what the hell were we talking about? Dude, we covered, we solved the current pandemic and That's then we right. rolled That's like right. Yep. right into <laughs> some audio stuff and audiobooks. And we ended on a weird note. I forget what it was. Yeah. Because I was like, that, how did we get here? But it, we do. But, but, that, but I mean, becoming a Patreon lets you go on that journey, that terrible, terrible journey. It's, it's, um, it's like a little, we'll give you a little side boob, you know, for helping us out. 
Indeed. Uh, if you want, if you want full boob, but no titty. Titty comes with the higher pre, uh, Patreon tiers. If you want, if you want a little bit more boob, you can. Uh, you can. I told up your you pledge. to quit plugging your OnlyFans on this show. Never, <laughs> never, never. I I need to make money somehow. Linux games are expensive. Um, yeah, uh, you you can get access to the show notes. Uh, see a little bit more of the titty. Uh, maybe contribute to the titty if you if you want to like comment on the things that we're writing in the show notes. Make suggestions. You absolutely can at the two fifty tier. Um, we got. Uh, we got. Do do we still have the uh, one of the executive producer slots open? Yes, we we do. So oh, if you, if, you really, nice. if if you really <laughs> want your name at the beginning of them credits, uh, there you go. Um, we we got some, we got some people on our Patreon to thank though. Uh, Romeo Sid Vicious uh, yeah. became our latest Patreon. Um, but that given direct direct monetary contribution isn't the only way to support us. We got wish lists. Share the uh, show. Yeah, that's true. You could, you could share the show. We we got we got Amazon wish list though. If you just want to buy us stuff, um, Pedro, Ben, you got you got some stuff. Pedro, Don't let go Ven first. Go first no, 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 you go. No, no oh, 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 oh right. shit! We have you a Canadian standoff. We got, <laughs> we, got, we got the Canadian standoff. After you, no, after you, no, after you, no, after you. Well, uh, in my case, I got two things uh, over the mail. Uh, one of one of them was a um, Wi-Fi card, an Intel Wi-Fi card with the antennas for an AS Rock uh, Desk Mini A300, which I don't have yet, but I guess I have to now. <laughs> don't you love uh, gifts and, like that? You're like, fuck. Yeah, g- All right. Gifts that require you to buy more <laughs> shit. Yeah. And um, this uh, was one of the things that Basil sent me, and uh, along with the note came, I hope these items go together from Basil. <laughs> And the second item, well, the second item doesn't really go together, although I'm pretty sure uh, Nori would love some Wi-Fi antennas in her new Ushanka, because Nori's got a Ushanka now. <laughs> you should have uh, uh, worn it to show it off. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, it's way too warm. Uh, also, Atomic, that is all because of you, so... <laughs> I had to check Discord. I was speaking of that hop in her Discord um, to make sure. I, I was like, what did Atomic do? I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, there's this thing I got to thank somebody for because I'm about to write your name on that board so the whole world can see that. They can't a- see shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does have a point there. <laughs> Where this name's going, it's going to be below that. All right. Go ahead. Get it, get it all out of your system so I can finish my butt. Uh, 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 awkward turtles. Go just, ahead. There's just going to be a gap in between all this and uh, person. <laughs> I'm going to put the shit like right down here, man, with some arrows pointing to it. Can you see me now? No, you got, you got to put it like right at the top, just completely out of order of everything else, just to piss people off. Oh, post it note. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, need, I need to throw this up here because um, I really, really have fallen in love with the Elcom huge trackball because this is my new favorite wireless gerbil. Um, never had a trackball before, but this is when it comes to editing video and doing audio work. Can't beat it. I bought one, had one, and it developed like double clicks and me being me, I'm, I'm just sitting there like, you know what? I can live with this for... It, it, it didn't bite me yet. That's what I was waiting for. I had to like fuck up something I was working on. I'm like, God damn it. Finally. Well... Well, well, well. Noctilius was not having it. He said, oh, okay, okay. You know what, fucko? I'm going to get you a replacement. Thank you. And he left a nice little message that says, from Noctilius. That's it. Short, That's it. All right. sweet, to the point. All I right. fucking okay. like that. <laughs> so the we got a replacement. Yeah. Suspense. I got to put him on the board. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you guys want to fill some time because I, I gotta get this spelling right. Da, 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 da. Here she is, Mr. Whiteboard. <laughs> there are not enough unnecessary uh, pauses to do like the walk in. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of like uh, one, one of those announcers singing like the Here She Is Miss America song or whatever. <laughs> Here he is, Mr. Huge MK2. But yeah, no, uh, Basil, uh, 
I, I didn't expect that. And I, I suppose I should also mention, uh, Basil, thank you for the heads up. Apparently, if you put stuff on your Amazon wish list from a third party seller, when someone buys it for you, they get your address. So, thanks for the heads good. up on that. I good did not know. <laughs> and, you know, th th thanks to all the people who are listening, sharing, just come back week after week. We really appreciate you. We don't do it for us. We do you it can almost for see it. you. What do I got to move now? That there. Ah, suck, <laughs> suck it, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, earn, man. Earn. <laughs> I, I, I am at the mercy of apps that do not have dark themes. My, my, my kingdom for a dark theme. Am I right? Do <laughs> All right. All right. Let's let's get into it. Raw and furry and out of control. Sure. Give me one. I'm just, I gotta move windows. Back it's the new humble bundle. There we go. For 2020. <laughs> professional, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, trained <laughs> podcasting professionals. Uh, it, yeah, man. It's the 2020 checked out. There's a gang of Linux stuff in here. You have nine days, 16 hours, 24 minutes, and 57 seconds at time of broadcasting to screech over because just one wet stinky bug gets you goner. Blurberry yeah. edition. But that's not it, man. Now, Proton, the game's changed. You're good. Probably be able to play 90% of this stuff, but Linux Native Kingdom, um, New Lands Royale with Cheese Edition, Regular Ordinary <laughs> Kingdom, and Mosaic. So that's oh, what we got 15 bucks. Oh, Kingdom Two, 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 two Crowns. Two, two crowns. <laughs> yeah, what? it's the other Kingdom game. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Man, um, I'm going to be honest. If I just bought that on the title alone, that's some Atari level shit right there, isn't it? Like, doesn't yeah. that look yep. quite fantastic? Oh. It looks That's, absolutely yeah. amazing, and then you look, it's like, oh, it's Kingdom. All right, never mind. Nothing it, against it, it, the game it's, it's whatsoever. Like the... I'm just saying that that's, that's a pixel game. <laughs> it, it, it's it's like the old American cover of Mega Man, where it's like, this looks completely not like anything in the game. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, they didn't like because he looked gnarly in that original cover, man. I'm like, oh, oh. yeah. No, the, well, they, they brought they brought him back as a fighter for Marvel vs. Capcom, <laughs> which I love. <laughs> right on. I'm done with that. I'm always happy to see a couple of Linux games in any humble bundle. And uh, there'll be a link in the show notes if you want to, like, uh, kick us some coin. We get an affiliate link. Plus, most mm -hmm. of that goes to charity. So, yep, yeah. that's good. What's that's in the way box? more penguins than we've seen um, in a few past bundles. But, yeah. yeah. There, there is a box. There What's is in a the box? box? What's in the box, uh, Kevin Busta? Spacey? Hang on, hang at on. Droppies in, uh, on Twitter uh, has put out uh, I gotta picture. prepare everyone you just can't go fucking dropping this shit on unsuspecting beings they're like no they're not ready for it it'll, it'll shock their hearts it'll shock the monkey <laughs> I was a bit shocked to see that uh, they actually sent it out to someone but yeah uh, according to a person Busta uh, he, they get to play the new Atari VCS that comes out in October and they already have it. Computer system, All right. gaming, plus PC, plus <laughs> streaming, 800 random fucking numbers. Also Onyx, 4K HDMI. Yeah. Like, I got into so, some creeping on the box. Oh, yes. Smooth Twitter. I mean, good zoom. Good zoom. Scale, scale, <laughs> scaling, scaling, baby. Well, the, the the box looks remarkably plain. Does anyone? I don't. I don't actually know what the OG Atari 2600 box looked like. Is this a, is this like a throwback to that? No. Or, uh, no, all right. This looks like a Wi-Fi router, though. It straight up fucking does. It it does. Mm. It really does. Like the uh, the the ones that your uh, internet Here's service provider. What gives I'm going you. to comment on, and I'm not hating on this at all. I've said multiple times. Hope everybody gets one that they paid for and they're happy with it. That looks like some cheap ass plastic for those controllers. Mm -hmm. Just by the look of it, could be wrong. Right. Probably because it is. <laughs> But like so, and here, here's the thing though. It can look like shit. the The casing materials could be shit. But does it live up to the alleged hype? Will it play your Borderlands on like medium? Will it? Is 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 it a decent TV box? Is it a good set top box that has like a decent x86 processor in it? We don't know. This person has not posted anything to that fact. No, that's no, one thing that like made me nothing worry. Nothing on how or what it runs at all. I, yeah, yeah, I just was a little bit worried though, because the original push was like, oh, look, I get it early. Also, I didn't immediately tear into it for the internet points. I'm like, that's suspicious as fuck. Indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just but saying. But he did. This is a, like, the reply came a few minutes later. It was like, 
took a picture, post it, then open it, then take another picture, post it. All right. Okay. <laughs> also, I wouldn't have it right now because you know somebody would be like, I'll give you 5000 yours. <laughs> Just take it. Yeah. Just go. Yeah. <laughs> I... <laughs> Uh, yeah, again, I, I hope everyone gets what they want out of it and it infinitely better. This, when I saw this, I headed over to r smash Z. It's like, just see what their take on it was. They, well, just, they didn't post anything about that. I was like, where are we at? Well, what stage are we at? That's the only reason I go to visit that subreddit. And they are straight up celebrating that someone was getting refund. They're like, yay, ah, someone oh. else got a refund. So, so they're at bargaining, is what I'm hearing. Yes. <laughs> I, I think th it's acceptance at this point. Like, they're just hopefully they can get their money back. Right. <laughs> no, acceptance is, okay, that money is gone. Fair, fair point. Fair point. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I went to their Kickstarter for the Smashes ad, and I read, and he's like, I got a refund. I bought a GDP win, too. Yay. <laughs> which again is that, more portable smaller more powerful and cheaper it is <laughs> that, 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 that's that's some pagliacci shit that's some sad clown right there <laughs> happy clown yes and you can play with all of the happy clowns and the dead clowns in silent hill 3 and silent hill 2 on the PS2 the with PCSX2. Yes, it's one of the <laughs> Wait, did it originally just going... not have any text? Yeah, uh, well, so... Yeah, Hard it was mode. just... Yeah. <laughs> well, Speedrun well, that, well, that fucko. Well, that, 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 that was the thing. Uh, they, they had a, a uh, Z-buffering implementation problem. They fixed it, mm. and uh, now text and images are actually showing up on screen. So that, for, like, several games, this was, like, a wide-reaching issue, which they finally nailed, which is great. Especially the Silent Hill 2 and 3 games, which were, in my opinion, the best of the Silent Hill series. 4 had its moments, uh, but yeah, PCS, PCSX2, you've probably heard of it if you're a Linux user, and at one point you've heard, oh, PS2 emulator, let's try that. And this one, yeah, like Jordan already said, they fixed a bunch of um, Z buffering issues, and they've also made basically a few other games that were getting to in-game but weren't playable were are now playable and uh i'm looking at their graph there it's definitely not as impressive as the um R uh, the rpcs RPC yeah rpcs 3 one which is always changing and always doing things that one's been like that for years now playable at 96.9 percent it's like all right Okay. I, I, I mean, for for a PS2 emulator, that's like I, like I, I, there's there's only so many PlayStation 2 games, right? Like, and this is a pretty old project. There's like three especially thousand of them. Yeah, especially in comparison to RPCS3. Uh, on the Linux side of things, uh, they did drop uh, GTK in favor of WX widgets. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm sure Strider has many opinions on GTK versus WX widgets. WX I widgets. I certainly don't. Yeah, the only experience I have with WX widgets, like fuck. Okay. Um, didn't didn't Pigeon use it at one point or dude, something? There's always some, and it uses some particular ass version of it that is like mm -hmm. two generations that previous. That doesn't work with the new version. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, That's I, usually what it I breaks. Avoid it. I'm like, and... I, I I I mean, I'm I'm sure I'm sure these guys have a reason for it. A GT a GTK is a bit of a moving target, so yeah. may maybe you want a stable ABI. <laughs> it's better than so, than QT. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> in, in the... Sorry, it's proprietary now. You have to sign up for an account. QT to cute <laughs> keys. Uh, System76, you know them? They make uh, computers. Last time I checked, man. Laptops, desktops, shit with wood on it. You know. They're going to. Well, oh, re man. The Atari, the Atari box they gave that person didn't have the wood paneling. No. But they picked the black version. Yeah. <laughs> Reimagining the keyboard, man. Your keyboard is king when it comes to input. Says you, man. I use my Nintendo power pad like a normal person, but uh, they're going to make the keyboard more efficient, improve things in three different ways. Redesigning the keyboard, bold move, Cotton. Maximizing efficiency when using it and empowering you to fully customize your keyboard on your whims. Here's a picture of some metal and shit with Kurt and a screenshot Hi, of Kurt. some shit. And there we go. That. That's uh, what we have for that. When I think of keyboard, I need three things. Unfortunately, fucking Microsoft makes them. Um, no blink, no clack, 
and much split. Uh, uh, if they could deliver uh, that, which I doubt because, you know, the, the, the thing is, man, I was thinking about this earlier today. So I went and like looked it up when I first off, if you like making noise when you type, that's cool. No one else likes it if they're next to you, which I know the first thing will come up. Well, you know, it's better for your fingers. Find me a legitimate study on that because I went looking and it doesn't exist. Um, also, get a good membrane keyboard like this one. They're a fucking dream to type on and they're silent. When, 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 when you picked, I was about to pick up my keyboard too, but then I'm like, wait, there's a ton of shit in there that's just going to fall out on my desk. Mm -hmm. I, 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 was, I was watching yours to see like what kind of crap would fall out. Yeah, so th this, th this one though, um, I'm, 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 I will be so happy if they announce that this big change is they're, they're switching System76 to Dvorak. But they're, they're, saying, they're saying this place with like their, their tiling window manager where there's going to be like keys for like relocating windows and whatnot, which could be an interesting thing. I would need to, it, it's definitely one of those things where if you're going to try and revolutionize the keyboard you got to get that in as many hands as possible to see if it actually accomplishes the goal i don't know i don't know this is the best i can make this is the picture that they put up it's visual studio code which okay. with uh spotify mm -hmm. yeah, Sp yeah I, it's, I, it's the tiling window manager it's the, the tiling windows that's literally what all they're showing there but okay reinventing the keyboard that 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 that's a lofty goal i mean we've seen it attempted many many times and those attempts have often fallen flat to like the niche heavy heavy niche market um repeatedly so what you gonna do exactly because i read through all that and it's like okay that 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 sounds like a bunch of ideas you're throwing at the wall there to see if someone in the comments would give you something yeah but as, as the monster, no, as the monster who does not like clacky ass keyboards, I had the original Model M back in the day, hated it. When they got quiet, I was like, oh, it's so much better. I have some bullshit nasty, like, this one, this this is what everyone's thinking of, like, that, that horrible squishy, like, eh, you have to look at it to type. You can, because mm -hmm. it's, it's like mm -hmm. typing on mush. That's bad. <laughs> but what I want, I, kn I know this is not going to exist. I'm just throwing this out there, System76, because no one else would want it. I want something roughly keyboard size, but it is just a like 50 point touch panel. Just solid glass. I can type on glass all day, but also give me an option, like turn it into a uh, stylus type deal. Yeah, like let me I, drag I, I, my I, finger around on it for the mouse cursor if I want. Yeah, there, there's there's lots of like interesting things you could do to like change how keyboards and mouse is like and give me an L cars interface. I don't think Elcar. <laughs> I, I I maintain. I think Elcar's is visually interesting, but like if you would ever try to use it, it would make zero sense. Just like Dvorak. it would take a lot to do even the simplest things. Yes, <laughs> it doesn't have to work very well. It just needs to look the part. Yeah, and then and then you can do like searching for life forms. Do 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 the precious life forms. Constantly beeps. <laughs> it would be awesome. It'll, it, it, it'll replace the clacking. You can hit like ah, making noise. This this is better for my fingers. No, no, no. It make, it makes the IBM PC speaker noise. The beep, like the really really <laughs> shrill one. That just like when you went over the uh, amount of keys that you were allowed to press at the same time, it would yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that 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 real that real shrill sp PC speaker. Speaking speaking of space beeps and bloops, free Ryan. Um, Free Ryan, it's not quite Master of Orion. Um, it is but it fairly does different make from a... one believe that there's an expensive Orion. That's true. It do, it does imply it does imply <laughs> the existence of expensive Orion. Uh, and anyways, uh, they have a new version out. It's uh, 0 four ten. Uh, they are dropping Python two, so suck it. Um, and it's just a bunch of like gameplay balance improvements, which for a grand strategy game like Galactic Grand Strategy, like uh, Free Ryan. It's kind of thing you want you want them to focus on like making sure that all the units and all the various factions are sane so that when you die it's your fault you realize that you should have negotiated the price of space wheat for five space cents shorter than you did right and then you trick then you triggered a galactic civil war so it so here's, here's the thing though like um free ryan was one of the first games i actually ever played on linux um i installed it i installed it on like zubuntu 7.4 i think i want to say okay. um <laughs> Yeah, that 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 was that was literally my first exposure to Linux gaming. So this project has a bit of a soft spot in my heart. Go go check it out. I I will say this is um available in everything. You're like, what about? It's got fucking packages for Void. So yes, everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's been around forever. Gentoo, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, OpenSUSE. Yeah. 
Like go play. Mm-hmm. I, I never, I've never played. I probably, all right, fair. I probably played it out of like, hey, what's this thing? But not enough time to keep anything in memory. What was it, Ryan? Is it Space Sim? Yeah, it, it, it's it's basically like a space civilization manager. Okay. You can like progress the tech tree and make treaties. It's it's, it's like an early 4X game. Is there anything that um, has graphics? Yes, but like DOS graphics. Well, I just yeah. couldn't tell because it's there's no pixely, mention, but, well, no mention of anything on the GitHub. Graphics. Sorry, I always point that up. Screen, just, just one little screenshot or a link to a gallery on, on your GitHub project. And that just goes for mm-hmm. anyone with any project. I don't care if it's mm-hmm. a terminal. Okay. Yeah. What, what, what does this look like? I, I think that's a valid request. Mm-hmm. Thrive uh, is the other game we're talking about. Um, this is open source Spore, but it's like what Spore was supposed to be, not what EIA, EA made it into. EIA, 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 EIA. <laughs> no, old, old EA had had a farm. EIA, EIA, and then they bought up Bioware and ruined it. EIA, EIA. Um, no, but uh, so they've they've uh, been trying to switch over to Godot, and that has significant, significantly solved their progress. And you know what? It's tricky. Like I, Godot is good, but it doesn't do all the work for you. You still got to cut everything over. Um, the th- one thing they added here is you can finally save your fucking game. That's pretty nifty. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Living in the future. Yeah. Uh, they also added a launcher to grab the latest uh, dev builds from their build system. And uh, they added a little filter to make everything look like you're viewing it through a microscope, which I guess is kind of cool if you're playing like a cell game and helps with the immersion. Yeah, uh, it's so this is release 051. The links to it is in our show notes. If you really like Spore and you wanted something a little more in-depth, definitely check this out. I'm done with that. See, nice. I, I, I'm not going to check this out because I think it's something I wouldn't like. I'm not going to check this out because this is something I can get lost in. Mm-hmm. Like place, yeah, like infinite simulation and cellular biology yeah, at that level. Yeah, yeah, that's like, oh, I need to go study some stuff so I can make better stuff in my game. I'm like, no, <laughs> yeah, you just pull, you just pull out a biology textbook and you're just like, here, here, here is the game gene or the the game facts. It's just right. like on, on the origin of species, it's the yeah. game guide. But Put that's a, a biology like, like okay, this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, one last thing is, this is something we mentioned on Wednesday's show, uh, Weekly Daily Wednesdays, go check that out if you want to find out some of the stranger things going on in the world of Linux. I'm, I'm doubling down on that Netflix. <laughs> um, be, 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 be careful lest your, fall, your uh, gambit fall like a house of cards. Mm, blah, blah, blah. Ron Gilbert, creator of Monkey Island and Thimbleweed Park, is attempting to switch to Linux, so I want everyone to go help him. He's got a blog. It's called GrumpyGamer.com. And wait, he went and picked up one of them there. Dell XPS 13 is running Ubuntu Budgie for now. How's it going, Jordan? Is it working good? I mean, sort of. It's it's that, it's that learning phase, right? Where, like, mm. you you, re- you learn that half the stuff you're used to is just gone, and then you discover a bunch of brand new features that leave you baffled as to how you ever lived without it. Like, control R, man. Like, they're... they're as, as a developer, there are so many handy little shortcuts in Linux that just like, mm-hmm. where where was this? Why? Well, now now I'm fucked. Now I need tab completion. Now blah blah blah. Right? Like, um. But yeah, he's he's running into problems. Apps, password manager, stuff like that are not there or where he expects them to be. And I mean, yeah, that's, See, that's this to be expected. Is his problem. He's got one password for six Linux. How many times have I had to explain? There are seven Linux. He got to install <laughs> seven Linux. <laughs> Yeah, but only version 6 works um, without him having to log in and send them his passwords. Mm-hmm. That's the big one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what I like uh, is looking in the comments on his blog, everyone's being helpful as fuck. Nice. That's that, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for, 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 the, for those of you who don't know, Ron Gilbert made Monkey Island, made Thimbleweed Park. Made First a thing of- I said. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I spaced on that, but <laughs> the no, the XPS is actually a very good call if you want to replace a MacBook with something that will run Linux. Well, uh, in his case, he couldn't get a Linux version because of the stupid, stupid arbitrary limitations that Dell puts on the um, Ubuntu versions of the XPS, which is, oh, uh, what's that? You want a 512 gigabyte SSD? Fuck you. 
buy the Windows version and install Linux yourself. You Pedro, can only get Pedro. 256. It's just an issue with their web zone, so just don't worry about it. Yeah, twice. Ah. Uh, well, three times now that Ron Gilbert's pointed out. Listen, Microsoft has got <laughs> checks that need caching. That's all I'm saying. So, I, I, I mean, so does Dell. If you think about it, like, if you're buying, like, the, the, the market option SSDs for, like, Dell or IBM computers, they are overcharging the fuck out of you. Yeah. Buy your... Mm -hmm. Get, get get the version, <laughs> buy your own SSD, install it. You will come out ahead. Like one of the, I'm going to say though, um, one of the advantages of getting it there is because that comes with a warranty. It's like fuck you, you fix, you send the person to my house. That that yeah. that's true. It's like I not... just gave you fifteen hundred dollars for this laptop. Get someone here. Yeah. <laughs> now here's the thing I want to throw at you though, because this is something you're thinking about. I think we're going to be seeing more and more developers. Now I'm not saying they're going to come to Linux. But if, if you're sitting there with your Mac Pro, that clock's ticking because Apple has already given you a preview of like, this is the future, is ARM. Steam's not going to be there. Um, game developer, you, you're going to have to find an option B, man, because I, I, Apple's made it very clear. Like, we, don't, we, we don't fucking care about the desktops anymore. I mean, yeah. maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But... I kind of like what he, he walked out and customer was like, well, why don't you go to Windows? He's like, Windows isn't a real operating system. I'm like, fair point. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> do you think we're going to see more people at least experimenting? Because like right up until Apple walked out and said, you yeah, are re really going to do the arm thing. Somebody's like, yo, I need something not even portable. Like I need something reasonably priced that I can develop on Mac, Linux, and Windows. I'm going to get a MacBook Pro. Just, you're not gonna be happy. I mean, it's decent enough hardware, and it'll allow you to do those three things. Because let's face it, making a Hackintosh is a pain in the ass. Um, now, it's going to be Linux and Windows, so yes, might and as well try it, right? W w well, Win Windows is trying really, really hard to capture that developer market by saying, like, "Hey, we're just running a container of Linux now, so like you can actually develop your Linux apps mm -hmm. with um, a proper kernel too." <laughs> but but I mean, Pedro raises a very, very good point. We're going to see a lot of Linux curious people, but installing, actually installing an operating system is a bit of a hurdle that a lot of people aren't willing to jump over. So when they go looking for the Linux store and to get their Linux computers, they see a bunch of expensive ThinkPad models. They see a bunch of really, really bad XPS models in comparison to the Windows version. They're going to say, well, clearly it's a worse operating system because they're not using better hardware mm -hmm. which is it's it's not a good argument but this is the thought process that people go through but also that they, is what they see yeah <laughs> you can wipe and put linux on it i mean if you want to go that route you go that route but i mean if you're dealing with the type of person it's like i don't it, it, or if you're dealing with the type of person who's got to buy it for the company then you just got to deal with whatever they're, they're going to give you but the type of person's like i'm gonna put linux on fuck it whatever i'll wipe it um but yeah, out of the box options, go to System76 because Dell's got their head up their ass. Yeah, They'll, you'll, you'll get a fancy keyboard with it too. Mm -hmm. and, and a tiling window manager. And no Ryzen laptops yet, Dell. They're hot. They're Let's really hot. Pedro, <laughs> like... we, we got to cover up some vents first and we'll get it out the door too. <laughs> MSI, <laughs> Asus. <laughs> Oh no no! Or, or, or you clearly go don't note. understand thermal design in our magical <laughs> fuck you box. Airflow hurts performance. Mm -hmm. uh, or, 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 or or you could take the Lenovo route of let's just aggressively throttle your CPU so that thermals don't go over a certain level. Uh. Life hack. <laughs> yeah. All right. Coming up next, we're gonna. It's 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 not Raspberry Pi. It's Blueberry, and we're yeah. gonna blubber. We're gonna blubber a lot. Welcome back to ASCII Penis, where we throw chairs at uh, video the games. The ASCII yeah. Penis position. Get it right. Yeah, you got, you got to quiz those ASCII penises, all right? Uh, this is where we're taking a look at Gunair Blueberry, Blueberry Edition. Uh, it's from Art and Heart. It's developed on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about uh, nine bucks normally, but it's on Humble now for like, a what? Buck? Probably. A buck. The, not not the not the well the blueberry yes, edition it is, is the free the DLC. One dollar level, yes. <laughs> it, it is, so you can grab it for real cheap for as long as that's going on. Uh what is it? Gun Air is a tough as hell procedurally generated 2D platformer with roguelike elements. Following the largely misunderstood and 
altruistic ick on a journey to cheer up his only friend in the world, a giant land-bound whale named Sally, by searching for just the right trinket in the deep and dark places nearby. You know, if I read the fucking description, I would I'm like, oh, that's why there's a giant yeah, fucking oh, whale. Yeah, that, okay. that's what the fucking, right. yeah. Got it. I, t today I learned what that fucking <laughs> whale was about. Apparently it's your friend. Cool. <laughs> you, you, got, you got two friends, the whale and death. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> And, and 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 anyways, uh, yeah, let's, let's see how it ran on uh, Debian. Then. All right, man, check it out. Uh, so for this, I, I I started up over here on Debian ten point five. That new hotness, man. Threadripper nineteen twenty X, uh, thirty two gigs RAM, NVMe drives, uh, NVIDIA twenty sixty, all that hot mildness. It's like my old trusty X clone controller broke that out. It started up. It's like press a button to continue. Opened up the X clone, powered it up. Boop boop. Nada. It's like, fuck, all right, we'll get out the um, Hooker Red PS4. Paired that, everything. Steam's like, hey, you've connected the PS4. I'm like, hey, battery's still charged. Good on you, Sony. Boop, boop, boop. Nothing. Fuck. Then I pressed the Proton button for controls, you know? <laughs> really, that was my first impression with this game. I was like, well, the controls don't work. What can I do? I could use the keyboard button. No. <laughs> Nay. Enable, enable Steam input. Mm-hmm. Love it or hate it, this is one of the cool things about Proton. If you don't want to fuck around with per game settings, global inputs, trying to keep track of what's working, what's not, right click, go to properties. Like, hey man, let's try this out in Proton and see what happens. Because sometimes a four plus year old game, be it native or not, can have compatibility issues. We've all ran into this, let's be honest. So that's what I did, man. I just tapped the Proton button and it sorted it. It just worked. All my controllers, they were working. It was brilliant. In my experience, I see that as an absolute win. Even using Proton, it held 65 to 90 at 2160p. That's UHD. Depending on how much shit I was decimating on the screen at the time. So that's how it worked, man. Um, maybe, I mean, do both of you like dicking around constantly? Like and some games will work and some games you have to disable per input and... So so you, so usually I just keep Steam button put on by default uh -huh. and disable it for games that it doesn't work on. And I found that's more that's been more successful in just having a working because controller. Because Steam than... input tends to work on most games, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Sadly to say, the Steamy controller doesn't have the batteries in it, which is oh. ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. let's talk about fun because sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, it's all about presentation. If you start me off wondering just what the fuck's going on, you've done something right. I mean, the the entire game comes off as like some type of fever dream. But let's talk about what's at the core of it, because you're asking that question. If you're watching the video, it's kind of simple looking, man. It's like 2D, flashy, seizure dream type stuff. Two things you should know up front. It's roguelike and procedurally generated levels, man. You know, that said... If, if you really gotta keep drilling down, at its core, it's a platform shooter. More of that than basically anything else, man. You can't shoot up. Hmm, that should clue you in. It does things differently. Plenty of random weapon upgrades and power-ups that can all eat bags of dicks once you get the shotgun. Because that thing's a little up, even for my taste, man. I had fun, though, exploding everything. But you can mix and match, you know, during your run... You can adjust your loadouts and one hanging with death himself. That's kind of cool. I like it. I know, right? It's a roguelike. Procedurally generated levels. Hey, I don't care. It's cute. And it's just good old-fashioned fucking strange. My entire playthrough of this is like, what the fuck's going on, man? And we just found out what the whale was about. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I had questions about the whale, but I, 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 so many other things were going on in this game. I just accepted the whale. I'm like, okay, there's a whale. All right. I can excuse the roguelike and the generated levels to an extent since jumping, exploding, and smashing, rather enjoyable. Also, back to the presentation, I really want to see more of like this waking nightmare of a world. And, um, I didn't, you know, this is a four-year-old game. It completely went under my radar, and thank you, Humble, for like, hey, you should try this fucko, which I did, so I can happily give it a solid check it out, especially at the price right now, if you act now. Act now, do a 13th now, now. color, three chairs. 
Indeed. Uh, yeah, on uh, Fedora 32 64-bit with the 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, yeah, I uh, launched out of the box, hold 60, and then I disabled VSync, and I got like 3 billion frames a second, because that's how that works. Um, works fine with Steam input on the DualShock 4 controller, and the controls are really, really tight, which is, again, you can do this in Unity. It's not the worst, it's not the hardest thing in the world to implement, but you can do it. Um, everything looks fine. Uh, the video options are pretty basic, like I said, and everything actually looks really good. I dig the art style. Um, I'll get to that a little bit more in the fun segment. Uh, but I found, I found the soundtrack to be a little forgettable. It's blips and bloops. I don't know, but you know, games don't live and die on their soundtrack. They're nice to have. Um, so, uh, fun wise. Yeah. It's one of these action platformers I'm terrible at, but you know, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. Uh, the platforming is really smooth. Everything's responsive. And like, therefore it genuinely feels that when you die, there's no bullshit. You just, you just fucked up. Um, I, one, one problem what do you I do have the dying with mechanic though, where you still have the option to go collect parts of yourself while I'm, 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 okay. I'm, 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 get, I'm getting to that because, um, yeah, when, when you get hit, your chunks fly all, uh, everywhere, uh, you can lose your weapon. Depends you can on the head them. you have. Yeah, you can, you can, I, I haven't gotten any more heads. Uh, you can, you can lose your extra life. You can use your weapon and you got to go retrieve them. And if you go to the next level without him, you're stuck. We got to get this boy some head. Yeah, one pro <laughs> one the, the the big problem I have with that is like when you get hit, my brain thinks that um it because like you you splatter in different directions and I always pick the wrong one, so I end up dying immediately after I get hit because I'm like I'm over here. Actually, no, your dude was over here and you just got hit by one of those Sonic the Hedgehog guys. Man, Smooth Sega's gonna sue Grimity. somebody. <laughs> Sega's gonna sue somebody because those those Sonic the Hedgehogs. <laughs> see, you, you you can see it on the screen now if you're watching the I'm video. I'm gonna be version. honest with you, Jordan. Those Sonic. The hedgehogs look like they're gonna ask you if you know Day Way. Right. <laughs> I'm 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 just saying, like Sega, Sega's gonna sue somebody. Um but yeah, um the the health system actually really reminds me of Ghosts and Goblins. It's a cool little progression on that. Um yeah, the uh the art style is really good. I really like it. Um the pres the presentation is great as well. The whole it the whole like level drawing as you go kind of reminds me of um, the Bugs Bunny cartoon where he's fighting with the anim animator and they keep like drawing new shit in. Um, yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with this game, especially for a buck. It's pretty fun. Um, it's a roguelike, so you gotta master the platforming more than actually get better at like specific levels. So if, I mean, if you're not into that, this may not be the game for you. But I think it's like done well enough and it's basic enough that uh, e even even if you're not too keen on roguelikes there's still something in here for you i'll give it three cheers yeah and uh over here on kd neon land with the ryzen 7 3700x and the gtx 1080 it launched just fine it held 144 ferps at 2560 by 1440 because yeah it's unity um there's some really funky music and uh, some psychedelic graphics going on uh the dualshock 4 worked just fine if you enable Steam input, so it needs Steam input to work, and it's very, very rumbly. You know, just, you move around, it rumbles. You die, it rumbles. You shoot, it rumbles. Like, all right, okay. Uh, but, you know, when it comes to the fun, I may or may not have um, sat in the main menu for a couple of minutes just to listen to the funky music, because... Yeah, I, I, I very much like the audio um, in this game. The video, well, you're looking at it right now. I could honestly do with a bit more of everything because, well, this, this is nothing new. I criticized Salt and Sanctuary for the exact same thing. Um, the background, it, 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 it's a bit lacking. However, I do realize that the background is the background. It's not the core focus of Goner um, in any means or measure. And um, Goner, it's a really interesting bit of visual design because the game only shows you what you should be worried about at the time. It's like everything else is just set dressing. You see the enemies, you see the scenery around the enemies, you see yourself and the scenery around you. It, uh, it, building the floor, it gets fuck all interesting when you get yeah. to the points to where there's not necessarily a floor at the bottom of that. Yep. Or, or, and or you kind like, of oh, have to take oh, that leap uh, of faith. <laughs> but or, that's or, the or, thing, the game is telling you there's no, um, there is no penalty for you to just run off a cliff. There's no, no instant death traps at the bottom. Don't worry about what you can't see because it's not important. You 
don't have to worry about it. It's the stuff that you can see that you should be worried about. And that's, yeah, no, that as visual design goes, this is about as simple as you can get it to do just that. Focus the player's attention on what the core of the game is. And the core here is very much a 2D action platformer with some roguelike elements. And um, it may not make it into my daily staple of gaming habits, but uh, I do very much enjoy what they did. Three chairs. <laughs> yeah. One, one, one thing one thing about the map design though is that like sometimes it'll show you uh it'll show you like a route that is just like a complete non-issue it just loops back around and you're like oh yeah i thought i was being clever <laughs> it does um, i mean it genuinely had me once uh, i had proceeded very far in the game before i realized i can mario these motherfuckers uh brains and mm. then i was like whoa i can just hop and let's see how long i can stay airborne and not use the gun i mean it had that's me what the bonus level is for Okay, I, <laughs> I was just having fun with it. I, I enjoyed it. Again, presentation the entire time. It was like, this is fucking weird, man. I'm down with this. Oh, yeah, for sure. Is it Hollow yeah. Knight? No. Um, do you, It doesn't have to be, though. No. And it you, you get to hold on to a lot of your weapons, so you can hang them up and pick and choose. Same thing with your heads. So, yep. All right. Yeah. I mean, go for a run. For a buck, you can't go wrong. Indeed. The Blueberry Edition is the free DLC for it, so you get a bunch of extra stuff with it as well. Mm -hmm. So definitely check it out. Coming up next, are you going to name your baby after myself, Ven or Pedro? What's wrong with you? Jeez. It's almost, almost time to go. But before we do, it's we Christmas actually do time. have some hate mail. We're full of fear. <laughs> we have some hate mail this week for, you know, a while now we've every now and then we get like the one sometimes two we got two two this week yeah. <laughs> told cause, you cause listen two, no. two is bigger fuck than off. one fuck off i told you he could count <laughs> all right fine yeah. two? i i uh, fine i owe you a nickel <laughs> that's that's four pennies right sorry can yeah, you hear you over winning what was that? <laughs> if you'd like to um let us know exactly how you felt during the show because chances are we said something that made you uh angry uh doubtful um turned on me maybe yeah. <laughs> why not yeah, all three can, men <laughs> yeah it could be all of the above and uh the best way that you can get in touch with us to let us know exactly where we touched you in all of the naughty bits is by going to linuxgamecast.com, hitting the contact button, and filling out the form. LGC Weekly is usually the default show, so that's taken care of. If, however, you're a game developer and you'd like to have us, you know, let us have a look at your game, um, include three keys or a build that we can share. Curator Connect, hotness. Curator that, Connect, that. yes, that's very good. <laughs> make, make, make me log into Steam via the browser in big picture mode so I don't have to log in again. <laughs> oh, man. Now, 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 now I'm just irately horny. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that poor laptop. Thanks a lot, Pedro. <laughs> now I'm all hot and bothered. Somebody else who is a little hot and bothered. Yeah, uh, it's, it's Philip. Uh, they're talking about baby names. They say G Norman Reedus and the Creepy Fetus sounds like a punk band that opened for the Dead Kennedys in 1986. I mean, yeah. Sounds like something Philip would say. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wait, 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 which Philip is this? Is this Philip Seymour Hoffman? No, no, this is Sandy Philip. Captain Philip? He's Phillip, the captain now? <laughs> Philip Martin. <laughs> Oh, is it the third Martin? I don't know. <laughs> Do you, they have a few. Well, well, what wait, would wait, be wait, your wait, chosen wait. name if if we had to if we just couldn't call it Norman Reedus and the Creepy Fetus and Walking Simulators out? But if you had to describe it in three words, what would you call it? The Death Walking Stranding. Dead. All right. Mm. <laughs> I said three words, so you're welcome to try again. Creepy finger baby. I said creepy finger baby. Okay. Waiting on Pedro. I said the Walking Dead. These Matt, don't Matt, count now. Mads Mickelson <laughs> Wem. Monster Energy Drink. Um. <laughs> Hideo Kojima's Crazy Pants. 
<laughs> the BTF with some commas. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I uh, can't even. There. <laughs> we'll allow it. But we do have one more. Um, that was a fun exercise and nonsense. This is from JP, who writes about bottles. He says, I can't say I approve with bottle eyes approach of circumventing the anti-cheat because we talked about that man mm -hmm. and yep. no instead of trying to make the windows version compatible with wine uh that's a debate i've seen a lot of the internet having when it comes to like any means necessary i'm like you know what true live that free life but shut the fuck up when you get no hammered for more of it mm -hmm. it's like if you want to cheat to get around the anti-cheat system, go right ahead. But you're going to get banned, and then you don't get to do anything about it because you were cheating. Mm. <laughs> I, I mean, it's all, it's always been a bit of a caveat emptor situation when it comes to gaming online with wine. Espe especially because, like, yeah, you, you are running this in a non-standard environment, and the types of tools that are trying to detect whether, you know, your environment is modified will obviously detect wine as a modified environment. So, like... I, I I don't know even even making the Windows game compatible with Wine right like doesn't doesn't necessarily solve the anti cheat problem because it is a substantial technical hurdle it is who like, was no it there was a game I was reading on the Reddit that of like blocked running anything it will be detected if if you're running in a virtualized environment so even if you're in a VM that was on uh, um, Escape from Tarkov could have been mm. so where where I are we think at with it was that because <laughs> part of me is like man fucking anti-cheat fucking everything up eac epic being a dick with it and <laughs> but we've all been in an online multiplayer match with fucko 9000 with all his lead hacks just ruining the experience for everyone so it, where, where it, do we it, draw the line man it's 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 def it's definitely hard, especially in games that like like Fortnite, like your PUBGs, any anything that has like a large number of players who are not constantly all interacting with one another. Like it's really easy to spot a hacker in Counter Strike because the maps are pretty small and you can pretty clearly tell who's not actually as good as they are. Um, and for 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 like battle royales and stuff like that, you you may not you may not detect that you may like things are not in that close of quarters. Um, when it comes to like MMOs and stuff like that, you're, you're trying to maintain balance for the sake of the game economy. At some, at some point there needs to be some system in place for detecting people who are cheating. But I, I, again, it's, it, it, there's, there's no straight answer here. It, it, it's, it's a big technical hurdle. It's necessary to some degree. Um, but how, how we're going about it, I don't, I don't know if it's the best way or if, like, yeah, circumventing it entirely like Bottle Eye was doing is not the way forward, especially mm -hmm. if you want to get on the developer's good side and actually have them consider Linux as a platform uh, in well, the future, maybe? Pedro, Pedro, <laughs> we, we've been over this. That that doesn't mean fuck all. They don't work on Fifi's. They don't, but it's... They will work that if they see, oh, there's a bunch of Linux players who are straight up circumventing our anti-cheat, and uh, a good chunk of them are actually cheating. So we're just going to straight up ban them. They would and do that regardless if you're on Mac or anything else. So like, okay, what mechanisms are they using? Oh, look, it's nice and open source. Okay, thank you guys. Have fun. Um, see if you can find another Like one. the Destiny 2 developers do. Yeah. If, they, if you even... Consider if you look at the Destiny 2 listing on Steam wrong and you're on Linux, you get banned. Oh, Matthew points well, out that, that you should that go to the, the Wine EAC users and the Lutris Discord to keep up with why it's still not working today. It might work tomorrow because, for like two uh, hours Tim after 6 p.m. changed something? <laughs> um, just make sure it's on a Tuesday. I don't know. Uh, what's the argument to be made for just like server-side only anti-cheat? Why is that? just not a thing is that just too hard to implement or it's hard, hard to implement to track not the kind of behavior that a cheat yeah. uh introduces in a game it's much easier to do client side because you can see what kind of software the person's running mm. on right. the server oh, oh. you would have to straight up analyze the kind of movements and how they're so aiming you're saying and if i install enough rootkits i can just kind of 
keep an eye on everybody. Yeah, j j just buy a bunch yeah. of Sodi CDs from the 2000s and play them in your computer. Oh, Which is why people Star hate Force the Ring Zero like stuff. <laughs> Dude, well, we don't have to worry about this because fortunately Stadia has taken off and eventually it will all be a thing of the past <laughs> as we stream our games directly to our brain holes. Right? Right? Yeah, just en enter the Matrix. Mm -hmm. I know Kung Fu. Another Keanu Reeves I already quotes. wear spectacles. Just get me the teeny tiny little projectors. <laughs> On no, that no, choppy... No, no, no. What? We need to get, we need to get Pedro Bato eyes. I'd be okay with that. I'd genuinely be okay with that. <laughs> no. Um, no. <laughs> that's See, I even got to the wrong fucking song that bothered me so much because I'm, I'm thinking about... <laughs> You should just think about how you want to play Bato and Ghost in the Shell. I, I'm definitely thinking about that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, because on it, we got to cue the music. Thank you for showing up and partying with us uh, live, watching after the fact on YouTube. Yes, we have a YouTube channel, I believe. And um, most of you listen to audio, it's cool too. Show on show the fun stuff or whatever you do for like marketing. We don't know. Ta -da, we're going to that. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm at Vin Stone on Twitter and just at Vin at mast.linuxgamecast.com that's where I post my like lesser dumbed down stuff I'm Jordan Svung I am the biggest cheater so much so that I'm eating all the pumpkins you can find me eating pumpkins at the burning fool on Twitter and I am Pedro Mateos you can find me um, at an accounted for on Twitter actively looking for um, people to follow and, I, thought, um, I thought you were gonna say fights on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. I mean, that may come later after I follow the people, but not right now. Mm. Uh, the other one is mass.linuxgamecast.com, and that's unaccounted for with the actual number four, where I ignore everyone because I'm not there. <laughs> All right. The physical embodiment of the path of least resistance, Mate. <laughs> Step on him, Daddy. How Step do on him, Mark. Credits. <laughs> I can't believe it. We spent millions of dollars on talent coaching, and they still suck. What could be wrong? Yeah, let's get acting classes. <laughs> oh man, we got we got to thank our uh, party patrons. Uh, did we get a new advisor, or was that for a hot second? Uh, anyways, we got Arthurian Empty, the Atomic Ass, Mike G, Barbara, Elias, Matt Geek, Scoots, Frosty the Clawman, Drummer Seven, Michael Foxdog, the Only Tiki, and our regular producers. The rest of these guys: David S, Smashly G, Michael Eagle, Yo, Jolly Topical, Guys, King, Stony Fish, uh, Nicole, Nicole, Nine, Nine Bullets, North Ranger, One Half of the Nibbles, Master Dak, Gonzo, Two. Zuck, Caxus, Steven, Igor, Mir, Brock, Christoph, Three, <laughs> Ross, Moana, Dodger, Kim, O Trudgel, times forty underscore Ryan, coma. Chris, Craig, Steven, Power, Power Shell, baby, Power Shell, Power Shell on Linux .com and Library TV forward slash at Nixon's, Nixon's pyramid. 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 They didn't think about whoa, that whoa, one very whoa, well. What was it in Wolfenstein? <laughs> Nixon's Power Pyramid Shell. <laughs> Young and Blood Thursday night. Tune in. Yeah. See you next week. I thought you said LGC loves Castrato Kylinix, and I got very confused. Five dudes. <laughs>